Welcome back again uh, to Wizardry 8, folks. Uh, we are headed towards the Rapex Castle at this point. You can see I got X-Ray on my uh, spell list going on right now. And so we'll head up here. We go into immediate combat and we'll take it off this horrid continuous battle selection. We never had a uh, continuous versus uh, uh, sure. phased combat in the first five wizardry games. It was all phased. Uh, a type of combat that you always had slow decisions to make uh, and uh, they I like it uh, this they have the option because sometimes I do want to just continue to battle like when I'm leveling up and stuff but for a sneak into the Rapax castle I want to have a little more control so <laughs> you can tell this is the beginning of entrance to the castle here or actually I should say the courtyards of the castle um, so there's just two Rapex guys here you can see like a little structure there we'll go there we go the Rapex courtyard is here and remember save often here you never know what kind of battle you might encounter here. Yeah, you can see guys up here. Um, guys evidently behind these guys in this little area but these are the guys I'm going to fight initially so I'll run up to them because they are archers Pretty easy kills. I could have ran around them, possibly. But, really, now I can just run. And I'll try to run all the way to the castle entrance. Even past other people's battles, because I don't really want to... Engage in a battle, really, right now. Just want to get to the castle. Once I'm in the castle, I don't mind a bigger battle. Because I will want to speak with Pharaoh. He won't follow me into the castle, so we don't have to worry about that. Since it's a new area. <clears throat> The main thing is with Pharaoh, I can buy some stuff, buy some better weapons, um, hopefully be able to create a better weapon, like the vampire chain for my monk, possibly. Um, it's not a really a better weapon, except that it's not cursed. But um, it is a weapon I will want. At some point in the game. So I'm going to the green guy. Darn it. Alright, so we gotta battle these guys. Um okay, Death Cloud is a potential help here.
Um, really no other spell is going to work except damage spells. Um, don't really know if I want to waste a damage spell on them. I'll just cloud them over for now. All nine of them are fixed with Death Cloud for, what, five rounds or so? It's like level five. Maybe like six rounds. Is it two plus one level or something? Okay, good. One of them's right up next to me. Looks like they're only going to come one at a time up to me. That's fine for now. Might want to create an element shield, though. Very good instant kill. Okay, let's do this guy an element shield. So that reduced the dehydrate for my poor robot down to 16. However, he got paralyzed there in the uh, freeze all spell. So it's time for me to run it at them. You can see to our right a plethora of treasure, which I will partake in later on. Uh, you'll see it as we progress here all this treasure there. You can never get to that room, but you can get to a shoot. Ooh, Death Cloud worked for one guy. Right? Where does it show you died? Odd, he died with Death Cloud, but it doesn't specifically sh show words about that. Usually shows words. So it's nice the other Rapex in the castle are paused. As you can see, there's a lot of other red on my radar map. And if they were walking around, they would get involved in this fight as well. Looks like he, every single Rapax is carrying something with him, which makes this a very intensive drop, all these battles with the Rapax. Although I've never had this area have that error. Oh, shit, let's go this way, yeah. Okay, let's talk to Pharaoh immediately. This will pause the game, hopefully. Absolutely, Pharaoh, my man. Let's see. 
for you? I'd suggest the Mirror Armor, the Vampire Chain, or the Ivory Blade. All fine pieces. Um, so the Mirror Armor we want for Vi, we need to get to uh, <coughs> the mines to get that, though. Let's see what they require. I have been planning it for quite some time. It will reflect damage due to you, back to your attacker instead. I will need a significant amount of silver ore, preferably your size. Then, bring me obsidian from the rift. Lastly, I will require a locket of reflection. Okay, I, the only one I don't have is a locket of uh, reflection and the... Pardon me for being unduly curious. But were you originally sent here by the Rapax King? I know you requested a fresh party of Templars from your way down. Apparently, they've taken a train and a Lupani hostage and are unable to get them to talk. I just assumed that you were the interrogators. I'm surprised you haven't become a Templar yet. Of course. You look like you could drag words from the dead. <laughs> I'm certain you're the ones he's requesting. Of course, I understand that you can't talk of it. I just hope you can find out what you party and the train are doing here. Their time is limited. So Pharaoh is pretty much, well, sided with the Rapax, but... Even if you kill the Rapax, he's always going to be on your side. So it's an interesting dilemma uh, of morality he has there. Away camp, you could ask about that. But how else do you think we destroy everybody? Send them an invitation to come here? <laughs> no, you have to bring yourselves to them. The camp is south of here by now. I am not certain of its exact location. Soon, however, the tree and the ring kill will be. Okay. Um, yeah, the uh, silver ore, we know where that is. Locket of Reflection. I might have one of these in uh, Arnica stored somewhere, but I doubt it. So I'll just have to kind of be on the lookout for a Locket of Reflection. And darn it. Yes, that is what I need. Find it and return it to me. I better be able to find it because I do want mere armor as a god creature. All right. Um, we also want to check out the vampire chain. You will devastate your opponents. The vampire chain is a difficult piece, but well worth the effort. I will need a single vampire bat screen and a prisoner's oh, chain okay. from the rift. I got everything. The ingredient requires courage. I need the heart of a sorceress. You will be pleased with the results. So, yeah, we got enough here for the vampire chain. Let's give Pharaoh the... Uh, Vampire Batwing. I will hold this until all the ingredients are here. We'll give Pharaoh the chain. I require still more to make it. Gather the other ingredients. We give Pharaoh, what did he ask for? Uh, <clears throat> Heart of a Sorceress, of course.
Should I got too much garbage in my uh, thing here. Way too much garbage. It's taking forever to find the heart of a sorceress. Piece of coral. So, you know then. Why else would you give this to me? It's just what I need to craft the ivory blade. Yes. A Hogar tusk, a piece of coral from the sea caves, and a single ring of protection. Not much at all, but what a weapon it creates. Bring me the other two, and I will create it for you. So that is a nice sword to have on uh, at some point. It's not cursed. Uh, it's got good uh, damage ratio and... Uh, Adds armor class plus one. There it is. I can now begin work on your vampire chain. Return to me later, and it shall be ready. Okay. It'll cost about a hundred thousand gold pieces, but it's worth it. Uh, at some points in the game, it'll show you how beneficial it can be. Ooh, lots of good shurikens here I can stock up on. Oops. Let's just buy them all here. Okay, this is what Vi could buy instead of the mirror armor. This might help my monk. <coughs> you can see it's really good robes here. Hit point, stamina, spell point. Although my monk uh, does not have spell points. Uh, he could benefit from the other two though. And plus six armor class, so it's better than what he's got right now. I believe so yeah I'll buy that so these are really good greaves um, stamina regeneration plus two iron will plus ten so ideal for a Valkyrie so yeah I will take these The Infinity Helm, very expensive item in the game, but look at what it can do here. Samurais can wear it. Valkyries can wear it. So, yeah, I want one for my Samurai and my Valkyrie. Look, it's got good resistances. It's all around a fantastic helmet. I could uh, equip the Intelligence Helm with some other characters. Right now, I think... Um, my samurai's got it okay snakeskin boots uh samurai definitely going to be good for her not the ninja not the monk but samurai and valkyrie i want this uh on them so i'll buy one of these the golden breastplate i'm not sure i want to buy it yet I only got a hundred thousand left. I better save it for the vampire chain. So this is a really nice um, uh, quarrel type uh, weapon, but it's got negative three initiative, although kill is five percent. So it's just if you got enough speed, that'll be a good weapon. Here's where a lot of good books uh, come out into play. So my Valkyrie's a ninja right now. Um, I could perhaps gain some of these at her next leveling, or perhaps now. Uh, what else? Uh, 
Okay, how good is this? Plus 12. Plus 6. The upper might be worth it. Let's check out what he's got so far. Yes. All right, only plus 10. So, yeah, let's definitely buy that. Not right now, though. Um, we have to sell some garbage to uh, my friend here. Like I said, we're going to need all the gold we had. This is why. I must have picked up this bow somewhere. It's quite a nice bow, but it's not for me. It's for a ranger. But heck, I'll take it, man. It definitely adds up the cashola here. I think we need this. This looks like a cheap thing. So good, we got up to 200,000 gold, which is really good. So with Pharaoh, you get to see the fair prices of things, like uh, the Cana Corpus is truly valued at 80,000 gold pieces. Uh, you're not going to get a better price for anything in the game. Uh, Pharaoh gives you the best gold prices when you sell stuff. Um, all right, so we got some good gold. And we can just kind of check it out again here. Golden breastplate is a potential, but this high kwando. The upper high kwando is going to be good for me right now, I think. Uh, don't forget, my Valkyrie is a ninja right now, so the golden breastplate won't even work on her. However, the robes of regeneration might work. Huh. Interesting. The robes of regeneration might work. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Nope, she can't equip them. Let's see why. Ninjas can't wear them. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so monks can wear them. So we'll definitely stick this on here and watch armor class go up by three there and by one there, which is fabulous. Uh, we can sell these robes now. They're robes plus one, which is a good robe. But um, and if we can get some lower robes, uh, we want to get them. All right. So her armor, his armor class is going up. Her, she could benefit from an infinity helm. Um, wow, this is a, nothing that important. I'll our armor class goes up one, our intelligence goes down, but it's worth it. You can always stick, there's only two of these uh, intelligence helms in the game. 
So we can always stick it on to RFS after he gets rid of the Helm of Serenity. Right now he needs it, but um, my, my Valkyrie Ninja could use this right now. Um, raises our intelligence. And we'll swap out the high quando here and raise up down up to 39, 39. Uh, that's really good armor class. We'll swap out the snake skin boots here with the chain hosen, which are going to increase. Oh, no increase, just increase in speed, which is fantastic. And the Platinum Grease will go to Vi when she becomes a uh, Valkyrie again. Let's uh, stock up on some good arrows right now since we have some intense type battles ahead. Okay, we have some mystic arrows, which are some of the best arrows in the game. We've got a lot of shurikens we can give to my ninja. We've got more ninja arrows, or mystic arrows here. Oh, the Great Bow can use some hefty arrows as well. We've got some Vipers. That'll be good. So really, we're just preparing uh, to become a Templar, but to get to the Templar temple, you probably have to fight a lot of Rapex. That's why I'm just stocking up on some better armor here and better all around uh, weaponry and stuff. Okay. So we are ready to leave Pharaoh right now. You know what? You can always sell him back something. Uh, the Platinum Grease, I'm going to sell it back to him because he's a really fair guy. He buys it as exact same price as he sells it. So he's not making any profit uh, off you like Antone, his brother. You don't need that or this or this anymore we can give him the piece of obsidian i will begin when you bring me the rest of the ingredients so yeah the obsidian is uh I think the mirror armor, I'm not positive, but it's one of those. Okay, well, that's it for now. Should you need anything, you know where you can find me. So you want to quickly, quick save, and then quickly Bye -bye. pause the game. So that you don't go into attack mode around Pharaoh because they will kill Pharaoh because he will help them in the battles. Okay, and we'll unpause it here and get moving. I never should have come back to this stupid planet. To the area. Oh, yeah, to this area. Looks like a challenge. So, like I warned you, it's a big battle. Okay. 
Meaning there's a lot of rat packs coming out of this room area there, which is the central room of the castle. Uh, this is the entrance there. See, so yeah, an element shield is going to help us. <coughs> so I'll do that as soon as I can. Your numbers are so few out here, I think I'll just use my weapons to slice through them. Although these guys have a lot of hit points, hopefully I'll get some instant kills in here. Yeah, as a ninja, the vampire chain is a better weapon than the dread spear to be wielding. But it's not ready for us right now, so we shall continue with the spear. <clears throat> Although, she has 100 skill points in the spear and only 20 in mace and flail, so that would take her a while to practice up for that. This is the reason why I have this ninja using the nunchucks because that is going to increase mason flail rapidly okay. so she can use the vampire chain whenever she wants So you can see there's quite a few of them. They're not showing their faces, so we can't cast a spell that will affect all of them out here. Um, that's okay, though. We'll uh, deal with them as we get closer to them. You can see the element shield is working really well to keep damage way down. Very good. Good clearing off of these guys here. So you can see we're slowly working our way up. Although I can't cast spells on the majority of them, they can't have all of their majority cast on me because they're behind this these walls as you can see they're way back there so it works to both of our advantages for now if I had spells that worked I would want to be in their midst but I don't have spells that work so really it's no advantage of me getting in the, in, encircled by all of them and their spellcasters at once. Best advantage now is keeping them in the hall and 
having them continue to come out of that big room so I can kill them off one by one, so to speak. That was pretty good. <clears throat> Maybe we can get right in the middle of these guys so we can keep the battle going. Yep, we are doing some costly damage. Instant kill with a noon chucka, that's nice. Yeah, we're cleaning these guys up rather quickly here. Maybe this is a locket of, uh, that locket that I needed, whatever that was called. So it looks like we're nearing the end of this battle, but <clears throat> we're not. <clears throat> There's more in the other room. You can obviously see them right behind this wall with my x-ray spell in effect. So, we'll just keep walking and keep battling. I'm on it. Okay. Master creature detected here. Good luck with my two light swords and 15% staff of doom instant deaths. You poor, sad, unintelligent rapex that don't understand the weapons I wield. And instant. Remember in the first wizardry game, wasn't we one? I had a thief and the thief turned into a ninja with the help of a, th a thieves dagger. And you, you can invoke its special power and it switched me into a neutral ninja, which was fantastic. That whole game I was uh, amazed at the instant kills thinking, oh my gosh, I should have all ninjas in my party. Can you see who that is? Okay, let's talk to this guy. Um, I already know the answer because I've been here before. Um, I'll Adrian, I believe. Oh, for God's sakes. All right. <clears throat> I got to get the spelling right, so let's go to this guy. I know you. I tracked you once near Einika. I was following you through the trees, but you didn't see me, of course. 
Strange to see you again. Here, of all places, the temple of Alcinexus. You are brave. Brave indeed. Are you here to become initiates? Well then, come inside. Pal Adrian will receive you and explain the right oh, of initiation. That, the only thing I forgot was a hyphen? All right. Well, here's Al Adrian. Okay. Master, who sends you? So luckily we didn't get in another fight. All right, Al. Where's the hyphen key? A. So you got to sacrifice the uh, cashola here. You make an offering worthy of Alcidexus, and thus your role as initiates in her temple shall be killed. You want to grab this for later? <clears throat> Save it, and we can begin the uh, <clears throat> ceremonial uh, battles here. So, you just free the monsters here, and they will come to you. You don't have to move. Really, I have superior ranged weapons right now, so it would be to their advantage to come to me fast. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like we got a they got some long range with their arms. We gotta get a little closer to use the light swords. So if they hit, they do do a lot of damage, but they can't hit me right now. <clears throat> Offering to Alcidexus. Yes, she requires more. 
Think well upon this riddle then, what else she needs you for? Although I am always with you, only one side do I show you, lest you see my other side where long wings <laughs> flow. And though I feel all things, I do not long to know. Think well upon it now, my name, and nothing tell me so. Uh, I think it's flesh, right? This then is your second offering, the skin of your body, the flesh upon your bones. This you will offer into the hands of Alcidexus. So we go and collect this robe here. <clears throat> Which actually is a good robe Why do I always pick the winners? for my ninja, I believe, uh, my permanent ninja. Everyone, look here. Company. Uh, <clears throat> I'll equip it later. All right, cage of bone sounds like your mind, right? Your brain, uh, probably you could say mind or brain. Um, I'm going to say brain because I think last time I said mind. So I just want to see if brain works as well. Oops, there we go. Okay, so we just continue onward with the riddles, the objects. need to look at them I know what they are they're not that bad sure. none of these guys are really a serious battle if you did battle with the Rapax and somehow got here these guys are like nothing unless you don't have any armor class in your level but then you know the Rapax would have taken care of you so it seems to be like an easy they really wanted you to make make this uh, part of the plot. 
so you could see what happens at the that the game designer spent so much time creating for uh, the audience. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, obviously it's your heart. You know, I should have set a portal up next to Al Adrian so I would have just be able to teleport there instead of risking the walk, which may initiate battle with the Rapex again. All right, wasn't thinking, but here we go. So we grab the dagger. <clears throat> we want to dress one of our strongest in all the robes or whatever when we talk to Al Adrian. Oh, for crap sakes. All right, I'm just running. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. I'll just run to Al Adrian. Hopefully I'll make it. <clears throat> yeah. Don't think I'm going to look there, buddy. If I can make it to Al Adrian, he might even help me fight them. But it looks like they're retreating. They see I'm going into the initiate. So I guess... The game designers and them knew What's that? Over there. to just back off basically <clears throat> at this point. Okay, so we'll go on up here, continue to run. They will continue to retreat. <clears throat> Wait, something advanced? It's not cool. I'll just stay on his side just in case they do want to sneak up on us. There we go. All right, so... They usually want a male. I don't know if they're going to take the male monk. I mean, we could equip the monk with all of the robes, but really, does Alcidexus want a, a, a monk? I mean, we could try it here, see what happens. All right, um, let's cast the Uncursed spell. Uh-oh. All right, we got to have someone else wear this. I'll give it to Vi for now.
I hope they accept the monk. I do not want to. I do not want to re-equip all the stuff. Okay, so yeah, here's the three things you need: the dagger, the robe, and the helmet. Now let's see if Al Adrian will accept my monk. So it is begun, and now it is time for your ceremony. First, you must dress well your strongest and complete inner castle. Next, in the grand temple beyond below me, you shall find an altar. Upon this altar, pour the dark nectar. If you are worthy, Alcidexis will come. Okay, um... <clears throat> Oh, you thought we just meant Rapex. <clears throat> Yeah, what can you tell us about Alcidex since you worship her? The dark demoness, the bird mother, the loins that bear all Rapex. You shall meet her soon enough. What about the Lava Lord? Do you know about the Lava Lord? That's not what I meant, but okay. All right, so we'll just leave him for now. We shall meet again. See you around. So yes. when they say equip one of your strongest, we'll look at the strength right now. 88, 100. So I think uh, RFS 81 is not just a male, which is what Alcidexus wants. But he's also the strongest in our group. So I really do think he is the best fit for the armor. We'll see if Alcidexus uh, is receptive to him, though. So you want to quit out here before you even enter, because sometimes there's like a glitch and you won't be able to get Alcidexus to come out. So I'm just going to save... Uh, Shit. Okay. And then I'm going to use the badge here. Now, it might not work because the monk is um, not one of my original party. <clears throat> 